This is Sigiriya, also known as Lion's Rock, probably the most iconic spot in all of Sri Lanka. But that means a lot of tourists. But we're going to show you the best viewpoint which you haven't heard of anywhere else and let you in on a little secret even the official leaflet doesn't tell you. But hold up, let's reverse back to the airport. We've just landed in Colombo, Sri Lanka and we're going to be spending the next month in this beautiful country. It's actually my first time here in Sri Lanka but Joel's been before. He came about five years ago so it's probably changed a lot since then. But we also have a very special guest we're meeting in the airport. Let's go through customs, see if he's here. <laughs> this is my dad, this is David. He's doing his first backpacking trip right now. Let's go find a taxi. It should only be about five pounds I've read online, but you never know when you're in Asia. Yeah, it's a taxi. Five thousand. Two thousand. Okay, three thousand. Chuck the dad in the back. <laughs> <laughs> We've checked into our homestay and we're going straight to bed because we're pretty exhausted from all the traveling. We will see you in the morning. Good morning from the Gombo, Sri Lanka. Today we're taking the bus to Sigiriya, but we've heard the buses are quite crazy. Last time when I was in Sri Lanka, the buses were absolutely mental. So I'm quite excited for you and your dad to experience them. <laughs> you ready to go? I'm ready to go, just doing my handstand practice. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <gasps> Your dad's just doing handstands. Why is he doing handstands? <laughs> Somehow we are fitting in this taxi. In this taxi, in this little tuk tuk. Tiny. With all our bags. Almost. And all of us. Just wow. about. Is David going to fit? <laughs> just about. <laughs> just about. Oh, yeah. So this tuk tuk ride was just 500 rupees to the bus station. We are at the bus station. Let's try and find this bus to Kurun Gala. 34. Bus 34. Good number. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We've just got on the bus. It was 520 for this journey, which is like an hour and a half, which is crazy. I, it's so cheap. Right? And after a relatively peaceful ride on the AC bus, things were about to change. Here we go. Get off the bus onto the next bus. Dambula. It is quite chaotic here now, it's crazy. In there. Come in, come in. Okay. How crazy is it? It's beyond amazingly crazy chaos. <laughs> it is madness, so many buses. I'm used to a lot of bikes everywhere, but not this many buses. So we just paid for the bus and it was only 250 rupees each, which is so good. Uh, the non-CA, non-AC buses are much cheaper, so something to keep in mind, but incredible value. Bye. That was hectic. <laughs> that was quite the adventure. Right, let's go get some food. I'm starving. So after lunch, we're gonna try and grab a tuk-tuk to get to our place in Sigiriya. See if we can find one. We arrived at our guest house and got ready for an early start the next morning. Good morning. It is 4, 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. And we're heading to the special spot. Thank you. So we just bought our tickets, 30 USD each, which is quite steep. Thank you. Into the darkness we go. With our phone torches on, we headed up to Lion's Rock for sunrise. This is sunrise and we're starting over there. We have just reached the top of this rock, but as soon as it starts getting lighter, I'm going to show you this place because this place is beautiful, especially the views around here. We've got a layering of cloud covering the whole valleys around. It's incredible. It's so weird. Everywhere online and even on their like official leaflet, it says it's open from 6.30 a.m. But we we arrived here at 5 a.m. and we were allowed in. So I'm not sure if that's some kind of secret. Look, this is the official leaflet and it even says visitors are allowed to view the Sigiriya archaeological site only from 6.30am to 7. Thank you. 
this must be where they bring up all the equipment. I don't know what they bring up here, but look at this. They've got like a little conveyor belt thing to bring random stuff up. That's so cool. I don't know why we're so interested in this, but it's amazing. David's just found a little cliff edge over here. Not easy to come down it very quickly though. Look at the edge. This is this is what we came up, but we couldn't see it when we walked up here because it was pitch black. But look at this. Wow. Whoa. You don't want to fall off this. I'm glad they've got the bar. <laughs> yeah, we literally walked upstairs like this. We've just found the monkeys. Yeah, you run away, mister. You run away. I'm not a big fan of monkeys. They always steal your food and stuff. But we can now start to see the fog lifting over here. Ooh. So it's clearing up a little bit. You're probably wondering like, what is this big walled rock? And it's actually an ancient fortress. So back in about 400 AD, the king made this palace and it was built in his lifetime. But after the king died, unfortunately it was just abandoned. It's pretty crazy, just in the middle of the jungle. It's time to start the hike down and see what we hiked up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Although it's still pretty foggy, so we probably can't see much. But you kind of get a little bit of perspective of how high up we are. Oh wow, look at all the monkeys. They're all chilling here. You might be wondering why is this rock in Siguria called Lion's Rock? And that's because it used to be a lion's face, but it's eroded over time. But you can still see the big old footprints here, can't you? Look at them, they're so cool. They're huge, there's one each side. One over there as well. I've never seen something like that before. Be silent, wasps. Why do we have to be quiet for the wasps? That makes no sense. Wow, guys, that was such a cool experience. So we've just finished up there and we're gonna head back into town because we are starving and try and find some breakfast. We've just come to Soul Food as this is like a vegan, vegetarian little restaurant. And of course they've got smoothie bowls. Amelia's favorite. I love it, I can't wait. <laughs> but look what we have in the background. Lions Rock. Hopefully some elephants are just going to walk past. Yeah, that would be the dream. <laughs> wow, look at this. I wasn't expecting it to be so amazing. Joel's cheated and he's gone for a chocolate smoothie bowl. I'm not really sure if that counts as a smoothie, mm. but it looks good. I um, think it does, and it fills me up a little bit more. I think mine's like beetroot, mango and pineapple and papaya, but yeah, looks good. This smoothie bowl is very good. Mm. <laughs> We've just come to a coffee shop and we've got this cappuccino, only 690 rupees, and this is supposed to be one of the best coffees people have had in all of Sri Lanka. How is it? Should I give it a taste? Give it a little go. Oh, well, that's good. Is it? Hot, but it's good. Mm, this is good coffee. Yeah. Still got the rock, even at this cafe, in the background. Look at that. Just over there. Lion's Rock. <laughs> This afternoon we're actually doing a very exciting activity and one of the big reasons I actually wanted to come here to Sri Lanka and the prices for the activity we're doing is also super affordable. So I can't wait to show you. Whoa. Here we go. You ready? Ah. There you go. If you haven't guessed already, we are going on a safari here around Sigiriya. There is a big national park which we're gonna enter and hopefully see elephants. That's what this national park is famous for. I really hope we see some. Yeah. It's my dream. They are fully wild, so you never know. You never know. Right, look at this. We've got the roof off. This is pretty cool. Stand up if we see anything, we can say hi. We're now just entering the national park and the national park fees are actually included in the price. This is the time to look out for elephants because they could be anywhere around here. Fully wild elephants. <laughs> We've got one! We've got our first elephant! <laughs> what we didn't realise before entering the park is this area of Sri Lanka is one of the largest gatherings of elephants in the entire world. Oh you got gosh. him? Is it more elephants? <laughs> oh, wow! Look at them! <gasps> They're so cool! They've got such tiny ears here! <laughs> What the? <gasps> I can't believe how close we are. Left and right, it's amazing. 
other than when you were born, obviously. How close were we? It's incredible! Oh my gosh! Hey, elephant! <laughs> As we were nearly at the end of our safari, we came across a male elephant just a few meters from the jeep. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Whoa, what? Whoa. And after the best encounter yet, we headed out of the park and back to our guest house. We have just got back from the safari and honestly, that was one of the best experiences in quite a while. Genuinely, they were just right in front of and our it car. And it was a little bit scary at some point. I was like, that is a big male elephant. He could charge us and who knows what could happen. You're probably wondering how much this cost us. So it was 90 USD for the whole private safari car. So that's 30 USD per person, which is pretty good and definitely sticks to the budget. Also, whilst we're here, this is where we're staying. Pretty basic, but it's only costing us 19 USD a night, which is pretty mental for the size of the room, which also includes breakfast. If any of you travel full time then you know how messy your bag and stuff gets in the room please don't judge us thank you it is sunset time and we are heading to another spot to get a good look of lion's rock but this one's completely different it's not going to cost you 30 usd it's actually going to cost you nothing so if you are more on a budget then this is going to be the perfect option for you here we go this is the entrance it's called magagala whatever that says archaeological, archaeological site <laughs> good work this spot is only five minutes away from the town so if you're staying in the town of Sigaria, which i highly recommend oh, it's quite a bumpy road then yeah it's five minutes away so come here for sunset this is quite a cool entrance isn't it wow look at this this is so cool i feel like i'm on a proper adventure <laughs> whoa it's all flat up here oh wow I think it's even better than being on it, seeing it from here. It's so cool. This is insane. And there's no one else up here. Wow. Sri Lanka is awesome. We were told about this spot from a guy at a local restaurant and having this whole area to ourselves on our final night in Sigaria was just something special. But the crazy thing about this spot is there's no one else here. Like the rock, the famous Sigaria rock is just there, but no one is here. All the other viewpoints are going to be full of people. But right here, it's just us. As our first stop on our Sri Lankan journey, this excited us so much for what was to come. In the next video, we're going to be heading on the famous Candy to Ella train, possibly one of the most beautiful train rides in the entire world. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.